In today's Madden 21 tip video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21. This is going to help you beat any defense that you face, and it's really a staple of the air raid, but what's really cool about it is you can do it from multiple different formations. We're going to talk about a unique version of it from the wing slot offset. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel, first of all, I want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. And what I hope you find at my YouTube channel here is that we give you content. We give you videos that are designed to help you get better at Madden 21. So if you're having trouble beating man coverage, if you're having trouble beating some of the uh, different zone coverages that you're going to start seeing, uh, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. We also have defensive tips as well, but right now I want to focus in on the Arizona Cardinals playbook, which is the playbook that I wrote my Madden 21 competitive guide on. And if you have not picked that up, it's over 89 pages of material. And this play that we're going to be talking about today is not even in the guide. So there's so much stuff in Arizona. So I just want to encourage you, if you haven't picked it up, head on down to the description and pick that up right now. All right, guys, the play we're going to be going over is mesh spot. Now, really, all I would recommend you do is just have fast tight ends. If you you know put your fastest tight ends in uh, for the, the Packers, we're going to put in Sternberger and Robert Tonyan. And the play we're going to be going over is mesh spot, like I said. So we're going to come out in the dollar, and I just want to show you how this really does do, uh, in my opinion, a, a really good job against a lot of coverages. And it really is good against man, especially against man coverage that is pressed up because these mesh routes are really going to work well the only thing i like to do here is i like to take marquez valdez scaling and motion him to the left so that he is on the line of scrimmage it's going to keep the mesh a little tighter as you can see and it's going to make those defenders run into one another and allow you to be able to beat man to man there you see robert tonyan at 80 uh, i think 85 speed is beating adrian amos who has better man coverage than his route running and better speed uh, as well so even though they're going to press coverage you uh, to try to stop this You'll see here. Um, this is going to this is going to beat it. Whoops! I'm sorry. I hit the wrong button. With the mesh, what you want to do is you literally just want to stare uh, stare down your receivers and say, look at the mesh really intently here. And which receiver pops open? That's who you're going to throw to out of man coverage. Now, the next thing I want to tell you is what they're going to start doing with you on this is you're going to see here on the right side of the screen you're going to be able to low ball that route to Sternberg. As you can see right there when he hooks up, that's a low ball pass against man to man coverage. Now. Uh, I recommend running with a gunslinger quarterback. That's why I've talked about the Packers being the best head-to-head -head team in Madden 21 because of that gunslinger ability. But there you see that's shaded coverage over top, shaded coverage outside. You're going to be able to hit that as well. The cool part about this, and I don't think a lot of people realize this in Madden 21 or really in Madden in general, but this year specifically, deep dig routes um, are very, very effective. You're going to see Devonte Adams is going to get that nice inside position and he's going to be able to hit that. Now, right there, um, you do see, you do have to kind of, you want to kind of time it so that it, it works properly. So you don't want to be, they will jump this year better than they've ever done. In my opinion, in man to man coverage, they will jump routes right behind. So what you want to do here is just throw a little bit earlier. As you can see, if I throw a little bit earlier, right on the cut, he's going to get open. Or one thing you can also do is you can throw this late. So you'll see here, and that's what I like about in routes. They're going to kind of, drag all the way across and they're still going to get that separation you know there's a saying that sit against zone run against man coverage and that's what we're going to do with this right here now the next defense i want to show you is cover four um again with all of these coverages these the beautiful thing about the mesh routes is what they have to do to stop it is they have to put their hook curls at five and they have to put their flat zones at five and they have to Mabel coverage on both sides, which is dang near impossible, right? I mean, you're not going to see a lot of coverages that are going to do that, but what you're going to see here is these mesh routes will clear and they will work really, really well on the sideline. Mesh, again, is, you know, in this specific example of it, they don't actually settle up a noose like they would in a proper mesh, but you kind of get that same, um, same type of animation with Sternberger's route. What I love about his route, literally it's just going to sit in the middle of the field. And it's going to put your your opponent in a kind of a bind. You know, one of those three routes are going to pop open, whether it be the two drags or the little spot route in behind it. The zo zone is not going to be able to stop this consistently. Um, as you can see right there, like I said, those, those tight, um, those, those tight compressed crossing routes. You'll see right here comes across. And you see that's able to go, and that's a five-yard hook curl, 
right? That's a vert hook. Vert hooks, in my opinion, are the best that you're going to find against the zone coverage. Now, what about cover three? Well, again, against cover three, what I love about this play is that deep dig route is very hard to stop. Most zone coverages will completely not guard it. I'm just telling you what they're going to do is they're going to be tied up. They're going to try to stop your underneath crossers, and you're just going to step up and hit this in, in route right as he cuts over the middle of the field. That's a very deep dig route. That's why I like it so, so much against cover two, against really any zone coverage. He is going to sit in the zone, and he's going to get open at multiple points. So that's another reason why I like it. Now, again, like I said, what they're going to have to do to stop this play is they are going to have to play some very significant underneath coverage. When they play underneath coverage, the wheel route to the running back is going to be able to get up and over the top of it. So we'll show you here. This right here will probably stop most for the drags for the most part will be stopped. But what you can do, you can lob pass Aaron Jones right over that hard flat, and you're going to see it's going to be very, very effective. So in my opinion, you know, this is one of the best versions of the mesh, especially with the way that they sit, especially with the way that Sternberger sits. Now, one thing you want to make sure you don't do what I just did when you pass lead it. If you pass lead it to the outside, you're going to throw in receptions. All you want to do is pass lead it inside. I know it's counterintuitive, but trust me, if you pass lead it down and inside or just pass lead it with a low ball, this will beat man to man. And you do have to understand that Jair Alexander is probably the best possible person that could cover that route. If I flip this, it's not going to, you know, they're not going to be able to hang with this. This route is a very simple, just curl settle up noose there it is right there as you can see you're going to be able to hit man and what i like about the drags um we didn't even talk about it um if the drags don't get pressed they're going to just run i mean it's literally they're just going to run against the man coverage so um the, that's perry nickerson 95 speed going up against uh marquez valdez scantling who i think only has 93 spe speed and you can see he's going to be able to beat it now the one thing that you're going to run into a little bit um, from time to time is the running back route so one thing you can do to kind of uh get around it let me see if i can get this here uh but the one thing you can do to kind of get around that running back route like i said just throw these right when they cross right when they cross and the mesh route's going to do really, really well for you. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, we are starting up a PlayStation 4 online CFM, and spots are very limited. So if you want more in in information about that, just shoot me a text. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. It's the best way to get any questions answered, best way to get a hold of me, um, and you can get a hold of me pretty much 24-7 within that. One thing I also want to let you know is by texting in, what will happen is you will join our texting membership. So if you're not interested in the CFM, maybe you're just interested in getting better at this game, please join the Texty membership. I'm telling you right now, it is a very, very good thing to do because basically what we're basic, what we're doing is we're giving you exclusive tips every single week. We give you one tip every single week at the beginning of the week. It's just through text message. You get a link for it. And basically, it is an in-depth tip about something in the game. And by in-depth, I mean it is longer than a YouTube video. It is longer than your average, you know, video. It is like, um, you know, 30 to 50 minutes of breakdown in depth kind of what we would do what we would do in an ebook the only difference is these are more tip focused more meta focused so showing you exactly how to stop the inside zone showing you how to exactly stop the stretch showing you how to stop some of those things that maybe you're struggling with in the last video we did and if you want to get this for free all you got to do is text in but um but um, the last video we did was going through and showing you how to stop every single run in Madden 21 uh, and you doing, uh, I think it was like a 50 minute tutorial on literally how to stop every single run in the game. So if you're interested in that, I'd encourage you to text in. Last but not least, guys, be sure to join the Discord. We'll be on stream tonight, probably around 10 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern time. So we'd love to see you guys on stream. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Happy Halloween. And we will see you guys on tonight's live stream.